Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on HTML language. In this video, I will be going to tell you about the 4-bit basic multiplier. In my previous video, I have told you about the 2-bit basic multiplier. So by using the 2-bit basic multiplier, I will be designing this 4-bit basic multiplier. This is the block diagram which you have seen. And this is the 2-bit basic multiplier which I have designed previously. You can go through that video and the link will be provided in the description. You can find the link below. Down. So this 2-bit multiplier I have designed and the first block is given as an output and the second block and the first block of 2-bit multiplier is given to an adder. So that is a 4-bit adder. So this is the basic 4-bit adder. You can find this 4-bit adder in also description how to implement this 4-bit adder with half adder and full adder. I have used only half adder and full adder. So those things I will be providing in the description you can able to see. This is the overview of the 4-bit four, four Vedic multiplier. So that is the reason I am not going deep in the details. The link will be provided in the description. You can go through the link and you can find it. So you can able to see that here we require a 3 plus 2. That is nothing but, no, it's 4 plus 2. That is nothing but 6-bit Vedic. 6-bit adder so this is the way I have implemented a 6-bit adder so to implement a 6-bit adder we also require a half adder and full adder that's enough you can see that I have implemented a Vedic 2-bit Vedic multiplier by using this and gate level di diagram gate level diagram okay so this is a 6-bit adder which I have implemented and these adders are again given to a 6-bit adder only so I have not implemented an another adder so let us go for a overview of 4-bit basic multiplier I have told you the basic blocks which are present those are my inputs and this is my signals intermediate signals which I have used and this is your main part where it comes so Vedic, as you can see, the we have only four box of Vedic multipliers, two bit Vedic multipliers. So that's the reason I have given the two two bits. And you can see what are the inputs A one down to zero and B one down to zero. So those things I have given as an inputs and the output is S one, which I have declared as an intermediate signal on above, which I have so shown you. So this is how I have given to every 4 bit you can able to see the bits are very important the numbering is very important so numbering don't forget this numbering and the signal names which you have given so first one of the Vedic multiplier is given as an output so C of 1 down to 0 is given as an output and next thing to concatenate zeros as you can see in my block diagram so I have used some zeros we have some zeros to be concatenated so 0 3 is to 2 so some zeros are concatenated in front of the some bits so this is how we will be concatenating you can able to see that is your 4 bit and this is your s5 similarly you have your sum and carry in your 4 bit so that's the reason sum is placed in first four digits and one bit is i have taken as a carry s down to four so you can able to see next i have concatenated some values as zeros and ones zeros to front and back as you can see next i have added to a six bit adder so i have got it and next i have taken a s10 where i have concatenated one zero because in my previous one i will be getting in four bit i will be getting only five bits not six bits so to make it six bits i have concatenated and then i have taken one six bit adder and then i have given the output so that's the thing that's all for today now if you want to check this you can synthesize it simulate it and you can verify so it is work working very fine because 15 15 bits you can able to see that both are 15 bits uh, means both are 4 bits that is nothing but in decimal number it is 15 so i am giving 15 15 as my input I am changing my radix then I will be changing I will giving the force constant so you can able to see it is working very fine and every values we will be getting a perfect result 15 and 15 you can take any values and it is the answers are very true appropriate and true it is so thank you for watching this video for code just comment below I will be providing you the link in the description and how to implement it thanks just subscribe me so that I will be encouraged by you and I will be providing you more this kind of videos. So please encourage me by subscribing my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Wish you happy new year.